unang-una sa lahat, yung talagang naging kaibigan ko was Michael Cost. Siya yung head PR ng Hermes. Yun yung unang dahilan kaya pumunta ako. So, si Michael Cost, um, basically, siya yung talagang hinahabol-habol lahat ng mga madam. Kasi kapag na-meet mo siya, meron ka ng bag. Pero syempre, babayaran mo yun. Another one, Song Hye Kyo. Sobrang ganda niya. Bago ko pa i-play yung role niya sa Full House na, na, na pinalabas sa GME, um, gustong-gusto ko talaga siya kasi pinapanood ko talaga yung Full House. Tapos ang cute-cute niya. And kung anong itsura niya doon nung bata siya, yun pa rin ang itsura niya hanggang ngayon. And then she's very sweet. Pero makikita mo siya talaga yung reyno ng lahat. Anna Wintour, I had um, a short interaction with her because I was invited to a Vogue International event. And talagang you can see na everybody talagang parang natatakot sa kanya. And she always wears naka-shades siya lagi. Which I understand now kasi minsan, pag hindi ka naka-shades, siguro mas vulnerable ka sa mga taong chichikahin ka, eh, may pupuntahan ka. So, kunyari, medyo detach ka. Yun yung feel ko sa kanya. Pero siya talaga yung queen of the queen queens of fashion. So yung mga cast na M in Paris, usually when it's like that, you either share the first row with them, and then for me, yung naging mabait sa akin was Camille. Mabait na mabait siya. She was very down to earth, and um, I remember she invited me for dinner, but when it's fashion week, wala talagang oras makipagchikahan. Christian Louboutin is also a magical character na the very, very first shoe brand na na-obsess talaga ako. Yun talaga yung pinag-iipunan ko. And then years later, hindi ko akalain na magiging matalik ko siyang kaibigan. Christian Nubutan, na-meet ko siya sa isang event. And then, he would speak Portuguese kasi meron siya mga kaibigan na Portuguese. And then, hanggang sa ngayon, sobrang matalik kong kaibigan. Alam ko yung password ng bahay niya. Pindot-pindot lang ako. In fact, one time, meron akong moment na um, nagkaroon ako ng time na nag-spend ako ng Christmas in Paris. And it was my first time na mag-spend ng Christmas na wala yung mga mahal ko sa buhay. Doon ako nag-spend ng Christmas sa kanya. So, nasa lapag lang kami, pinaglutuan din niya ako, ganyan. Sobrang bait. Kevin Kwan would be another archangel of mine sa na pili kong path because I was just a fan of his novels. And then, when he had the movie, nag-audition ako, nag-film ako na parang eksena. Siyempre, sanay tayo sa soap opera. So, nag-set up talaga, nag-film nag kami. Yun yung audition piece ko for the movie, Crazy Rich Asians. And then, years later, pumunta siya dito for an event. Nakasalubong ko siya sa Shangri-La. Siyempre, di naman ako pa-effect, di ba? So, gawin lang ako, tapos sabi niya, Hi, gumanin siya. And then he recognized me, your heart. Nice to meet you. Tapos sabi ko, paano niya ako nakilala? Natandaan niya yung audition piece ko. And then eventually, we became friends on Instagram and he messaged me um, and asked me if I am able to do the feature on Harper's Bazaar. And that was the crazy rich Asian feature. And because of that, that's how I got into Fashion Week, which was just a dream. Iba talaga ang fashion ni kung hindi ko kasama ang aking team heart. Mga moments namin of happy times, low times, and loka-lokahang moments. Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Art Evangelista. Je suis une des actrices et Philippines. Je suis ici pour la Paris Fashion Week and pour la Emily in Paris Audition. Isa kampa. Damn! Feeling ko paso! Sabi nila, ay parang hindi tayo nahihirapan dito kasi maroon na siya mag-French. Paso. Yeah, what do you want? You want a LA accent or you want a LA accent? Well, sipusip avec a British accent. I don't know why I'm here. And that was my dream. To become a street style superstar. And walang mali, walang tama, walang mali. Ikaw lang yun. That's why I said, I want to be in fashion.